So with the new update of Blender 3.0, that means there's occasion enough for us to perform an update. 3.0, of course, is a, a development build, so that means it'll be a little bit less than stable at this time. But if we load it open, we see that it loads open as if we've never opened Blender before. So we'll choose left click, search, save new settings. And from here, we'll click on preferences. And we'll go from here to add-ons. And we'll locate first box cutter and we'll install 718.5. And while we're in here, let's also install HardOps. And we have HardOps enabled, 987.9. And with that, we could just press Shift H and Alt V to uh, jump to EVHQ. And let's of course set the tool to box cutter and save our default scene. And with that, we are ready to begin. And that's really all there is when it comes to setting up hard ops and box cutter for the latest blender 3.0 this also goes without saying that in the event that you wanted to bring your settings over to blender 3.0 without messing up your preferences like you see me doing here there are alternative ways to do that so here i'm looking at my roaming blender foundation blender preps area where generally add-ons are installed and we're just going to delete the folder that we created for 3.0 and we're just going to right click and pick link source since we're using link shell extension for windows and we'll just drop this as a symbolic link but instead of calling it 2.93 symbolic link we'll call it 3.0 and let's actually right click the 3.0 folder we just created and we want to pick the link source as well and we will just right click and drop that also as a symbolic link and we'll just double click this call it 3.00 because sometimes Blender is using a 3.0 folder and sometimes it's using a 3.00 folder. It's probably going to use a 3.00 folder because it probably makes the most sense compared to its previous versions. But just in case, just like that, I'm able to get my configuration over to the next version of Blender without having to go through a whole bunch of installation rigmarole. So just letting users know that the previous installation methods and also the methods of sharing your installations across Blenders is still valid. It's still the way that I'm currently operating. 